With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Here, the question is, in a college, 30% students fail in physics, 25% students fail in mathematics and 10% students fail in both. One student is chosen at random, then the probability that he fails in physics if she had failed in mathematics, right? Here we have four options given that option A is 1 by 10, option B is 1 by 3, option C is 2 by 5 or option D is 9 by 20, right? So now let's first add the given data which we are having. Here the question says that in a college 30% students fail in physics. So we can write that the probability that a student fail in physics is 25 by 100 here as we are having 25% this means 25 by 100 we can write it as right and here it is given that let me correct it here here it is given that the 30% students fail in physics so it is 30 let me write here it is 30 by 100 and here it is given that the probability here it is given that 25% fail in mathematics this means we can write the probability that the student fail in mathematics is 25 by 100 25 by 100 right and here it is also given that the that 10 percent students student fail in both this means here we have given that probability of physics probability that student fail in physics and math also is equals to 10 percent that is we can write it as 10 by 100 right and as the question says that one student is chosen and chosen at random then probability that she fails in physics if she had failed in mathematics right so here as as per here by Reading the question, we can say that this question is of conditional probability, conditional probability because here we have given that we have given that she had failed in she had failed in mathematics and we have to find the probability that she failed she fails in physics. This means here we have to find probability that is she failed she fails in physics given that she had failed in mathematics. This means we have to find this, right? And we know that we can write the probability of this P of P of H M by M is equal this has probability of that failed in both physics and mathematics that is pH intersection m and this divided by as we have given the probability of that she fa she fails in mathematics that is probability of m so it is p of m right so by using this formula we can easily find that the probability that she fails in physics if she had failed in mathematics so here we have given the values that is probability of that she fails in she had failed in both physics and mathematics that is 10 by 100 so here at place of this we can write 10 by 100 and we can write by solving this we can write this 10 by 100 as 1 by 10 so it is 1 by 10 and here this divide by here it is p of m that is we can write this p of m as 1 by 4 1 by 4 so it is 1 by 4 and if we solve this further so we can write it as 4 by 10 which is equals to 2 by 5 so we can say that the probability that she fails in physics if she had failed in mathematics is 2 by 5 and hence we can say that this is our final answer and now let also check that which one option is correct so we can say that here our option c is correct that is 2 by 5 thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today